one's ready to go. Uh, let's see what it looks like inside. It looks so golden and delicious. Can't wait to uh, cook some of this stuff up, see what it tastes like. some corn. Good morning guys. Shelly here from Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. In the garden today, as you can see my beautiful sunflowers from my little uh, clay, clay seed balls that I got as a gift from my daughter-in-law for Christmas have turned out really well. I've got some really cool red clover down here too. I'll show you some of that. It's a little bit dry because it's been a little dry here. Uh, we've had some really hot days. Today is, we've had hot humid days. Uh, today is about 71, cloudy overcast and very nice. So I thought I'd get out in the garden because it's just going wild and I need to check it and see what's going on. And uh, I'm not look like, I'm not liking what I see. So let's uh, jump into it and see what we got. I found some aphids on my zucchini plants and uh, they're getting really bad. Uh, one day I came out and there was just a few and you get rid of them and the next day they come and there's a whole horde of them. So this plant doesn't show as much damage from them but I'm going to get rid of it as well. It's pretty much stopped. Uh, giving me any zucchini anyway. I do have some flowers on it, but it's really not doing anything and I want to get rid of the aphids the best I can. So the only thing that I can think of to do is throw them in the fire and get rid of them that way. Okay, so now that I've smoked the yard up, um, but I've gotten rid of those plants and I've looked in the spots where they were planted and trying to move around the dirt and find anything cra creepy crawling around in there. Hopefully I got the majority of the bugs out of here and uh, those things are just awful and they'll just devour everything. So the other thing that will devour everything are these bugs here. They are some kind of a beetle I would say they're a bluish black color um, and not very friendly to potatoes. They don't like potato leaves for some reason, so they decided to eat them all on me. I came out here one or two times a day whenever I had time with a jar of water and I was putting them in there and getting rid of them because if you squish them, they're just, it's a nasty brown diarrhea looking thing that you get when you do that. So, um, they pretty much devoured. I've got five bags here and they've devoured everything except for this one. I don't know why they left this one. Maybe I got rid of them all before they could eat it. I've got two bags over there. The leaves have um, somewhat stayed on there, but they're starting to die back as well from them eating on it. Uh, Katie was over here the other day and we were digging in there to see if we could feel potatoes and we actually could feel potatoes, so that is a good thing. So I think what I'm gonna do is take them over and pour them into one of my blue barrels because that's where I want the dirt. And I'm gonna dig around and see if I can find some potatoes and start harvesting them because uh, this isn't, you know, 
they're pretty mild. They're pretty well done. So let's go see what we can find. Yeah, that nice potato, little little itty bitty. Another nice nice potato. Nice. Good one. There we go. Nice. Okay, so the last bag I did yielded the most and the biggest potatoes. Like I said, I took one half a potato and put it in to the bags. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight potatoes out of one whole potato that I had cut in half um, and put in the bag. So I say that's pretty good. Let me show you what I got from everything else. Okay, so out of seven, seven gallon grow bags, I've got all these potatoes. Look at the size of this guy. That's a baked potato if I ever saw one. Very nice. Got a little bit of a blemish there. Not too bad. Most of them are pretty good. They've got a little bit of stuff there, but it can be cut out. Uh, some of them have splits in them, but that's okay. Again, it can be cut out. It looks like it's healed over, so that's cool. But this is all of them. This is uh, the ones that I just got, that I just showed you uh, out of the last bag that I did. There's a bunch of wee little ones too. Probably give those to the chickens. Some little guys. But most of them look pretty good. These little potatoes, not bad. So that's not too bad. Out of two half potatoes in each bag. And I average probably four or five potatoes out of each bag and not all of them are super huge like i said i've got some little guys like this but that's okay that's still edible um but yeah i mean there were definitely a lot more teeny tiny ones that i can't really do anything with but i'd say that that was pretty much a success this year compared to last year i used chicken uh, feed bags that did not work well which is weird because you think it would work if the feed ba if the grow bags work why don't the feed bags I'm assuming it's because it's not very breathable maybe that's the reason it's woven and not breathable I don't know but anyway that is my potato haul woohoo so everything's still growing really good as far as the tomatoes go. There's uh, some peppers growing, which is awesome. Uh, tomatoes I'm cutting up and freezing and getting them ready. I'm going to be making some uh, spaghetti sauce probably with it. I think that's how we'll use most of it. Um, so that is coming on strong. I'm getting a lot every day. Corn has been processed, as you saw in the beginning. You saw me picking it. Um, you know, green beans are pretty much slowed down. Peas are gone. Those are done. They don't want to. They don't want to produce anymore. So I pulled them out. Zucchini. We've got a ton of zucchini. I've processed that. I put it in two cup bags. Um, I chop it up in my chopper and put it in two cup bags and put it in the freezer. For when I want to bake with it because most recipes require two cups uh, for zucchini. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's it for what's happening here. And um, I'll leave you with a few clips of what's been going on outside of the garden. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.
and have a great day. What are you opening? What are you opening? Coming out. What's in there? <gasps> peas? Are there peas? Yeah. <gasps> Let's see. Wow, look <laughs> at all those peas. Oops. <coughs> One. One. Two. Three. Is that three? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Four. Four in that one? Cool. Hey guys, I've done something. I went to. Ah! And I probably shouldn't even open these because they're feisty as heck. And they're probably going to pop out. We'll take a quick peek. Oh, hi, little ones. Look at them all snuggly. Hi. You guys are all comfy cozy in there. I got baby chicks. I got some amber links, those white ones, and those darker ones. Seriously, girls. The darker ones are wine dots, and these here are um, Isa Browns. So there we go. And they look pretty darn cozy and happy, which is good. So I'm gonna get them into their little spot and get them even happier. All right. They've all had their little beaks dipped in the water. And there they are. That's a heater. So they're all happy. The ones that want to be under there can go under and the ones that don't, don't have to. They've got all this room here to run around. And that guy, and I'm gonna say guy because it's big and it's getting a comb already, so it's probably a male, which I don't want, but what do you do? But anyway, got baby chicks. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you wanna see more garden videos, click on this link here. And if you're interested in some of our merch and swag, click this link here.